Hello everybody and welcome back to the show Lost Latvian here with the Monday Leftovers with the Lost Latvian show 23. Yes, it's going to be 23 weeks when this is done since we have looked through these caps, you know, and today oh, we're going to look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different stores. So yeah, we're going to have some fun. There are some good hats in here. But before we start the show, I would like to thank you, everybody who has joined my channel recently and uh, for all the views and likes and shares, I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, we're just chugging along, so to speak. So yeah, it's another it's another Monday, you know, we're going to look at some cans, some hats, talk about them, and then we're going to go our own ways. But here is I want to show you something. Uh, I received a package from Australia from my good friend Lee and uh, as you guys may know I like to collect bubble heads you know and uh, so I received this guy uh, you may not know wh who he is but uh, he uh, plays this is a uh, Charlie Cameron you know is one of my favorite players he plays for, for uh, Brisbane Lions, you know, he plays really good, you know, it's good to watch him running around, you know, and causing chaos. So yeah, Lee got this one for me, so it's pretty cool, pretty cool dude, you know. And then uh, I got myself one, and this is uh, Ryan Peppenheisen, and he plays for Melbourne Storm, he's a rugby player. Uh, this is the first guy who caught my attention, you know, because the way he plays, you know, and uh, how significant he is to Melbourne Storm. He recently got his uh, ankle injured, you know, so he's out for at least uh, a month, if not more. But yeah, this is Ryan Peppenheisen, you know, so cool dude. So yeah, this is my collection. And then uh, I'll show you the Max Gone. He's a rock for Melbourne Demons. So I really love these things. So I'm very happy to add a few of them to my collection. And they're just sitting up here, you know, and then and, and chilling, you know. Look at this guy, Chris Bryant for Rockies. I got this one at the game a year ago or so. But yeah. So uh, that's that. A uh, couple cool jerseys I have added to my collection. Uh, Lee sent me uh, special ones. Maybe one day I'm going to start making the jersey videos as well. Just to show you. Because I want to share my collection. I really I really like my collection, you know. And I am just keep adding on. And, and just there's always a chase, you know. And actually last night I placed an order for three more jerseys. Uh, in Australia, there is Indigenous Week right now going on where they come out with these special jerseys and uh, they are very cool. So I try to get those ones. So yeah, I'm kind of like slowing a little bit down on, on buying hats and I'm adding more jerseys. But anyways, let's guys get into this one. Uh, so let's try to stay maybe like around the hour mark. Uh, don't want to drag it out for too long and actually you know I should be watching the football game now uh, Liverpool uh, plays Wolverhampton this is a uh, Jurgen Klopp's last game as a manager but uh, I don't know some may tell me tell me that I'm not a real fan you know because I'm not watching his last game or, or, or something like that but it's nothing to do with me not being a fan it's just I think it's kind of a sad situation you know like I really like Jurgen Klopp um, he's leaving after staying with Liverpool since 2015 when he became the manager and he has won everything with the team so I'll watch a replay you know but uh I want to do this video for you guys so I can release it on Monday. And there's also a hockey game going on, you know, in World Championships and whatnot. So I could watch that too, but I can al always see those on the replays. All right, guys, let's not beat around the bush again for too long. And uh, let's just press this 
a record button. So here we are, my friends, and uh, first, very first store we're gonna be looking at is uh, 59, uh, excuse me, not 5950, yeah, those are gonna be the, ca the hats, but we're gonna look at the Anthem shop up in Canada, and um, they actually uh, came out with this four pack recently, four Blue Jays hats, and uh, four different colorways, and let's look at the very first one. Um, so, look at this shit, man. You know, it looks like a Bangladesh hat to me. Uh, very cool colorway, kind of blacked out J head, you know. Uh, I think this is a cool ass hat, very clean one. And let's see what's the availability. Uh, seven one eight a quarter, three eighths, five eighths, three quarters. So this is selling out pretty good. Forty two U.S. dollars. That's not bad. Let's look at the side patch. Toronto ninety one All Star Game. I think this is a solid hat. Uh, hat really looks like it's done in Anthem Shop style. So yeah. Uh, it really screams Anthem Shop. So let's look at the second colorway. And this is the black crown. Black crown, silver, that round thing, you know, silver logo with the black bird. Same, uh, same uh, side patch, I believe. Yep, 90, 91. All-star game, I mean solid hat, what can I say? Two out of two, what's available? So this has sold out more than the previous one. You can see the sizes, which are still available. And um, it's kind of crazy, you know, after Pierre had a beef with them, they are not featuring them on their site, on their channel, you know, but I think people are missing out. I mean, this these are freaking solid hats. People buying too much on some other people's experiences or whatnot, and Pierre went off of his, like, uh, what to say, like a business dealings or whatnot, you know? But uh, I understand him, but there are hats, you know, right here, like this guy. It's a fucking awesome hat. I tend to, like, uh, go off of my own experiences, you know, and Anthem Shop's always been nice to me. So I have no problems looking at their hats and, so to speak, uh promoting them, you know. I call my channel the biggest little uh, YouTube channel there is. <laughs> so maybe some people are watching, you know, and they will they will go over to the store to the Anthem shop. Solid hat. Love it. And then, then this colorway, this purple one, purple accents so they're all done kind of similar in a similar way just the accent colors have changed you know same patch side patch uh, all of them are gray unders the black crown this is cool and let's see what's the availability on this guy more sizes so which one is the favorite for me Hard to tell. I kind of I like this purple one, but then I like this one. Let's see this one. I almost want to say I like this the the most. I think it's kind of works. That red works nice as that blackout bird, and then the white accents here. I don't know. It's up to you. And then. Uh, so they released a couple other ones. Let, let's look real quick. Binghamton Mets, 39 bucks. 
very good price. So these sizes are left. What do you guys think this crazy ass B? Look at it. Looks like a flat embroidery on a blue hat. Yeah, I like the raised ones though, you know. I prefer the raised logos, but it's not a bad hat. Then we got Daytona Cubs. Mm, I don't like the colorway on this one. I, I, I don't like this hat. It's clean, but I don't like it. This looks like China to me as well. No, it's Bangladesh. But $39. And pretty much all sizes available. And the next on Toronto Blue Jays Ace. Uh, you know where I stand with these freaking mascots. I don't like them at all. Flat embroidery. That's Decent hat, you know, but it's just not mine. It's not for me. And then you've got a Tucson Roadrunners. This is the AHL hat. Only few sizes left. Looks like this crazy Kachina or something. Yeah, actually, our Arizona uh, Coyotes, Phoenix Coyotes, real located to Utah, and nobody nobody knows what the team is gonna be named, but they're gone from Arizona. I guess for like who the hell plays hockey in the desert? You know, it's for good. I mean, I think they're gonna do better in 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 Utah. All right, let's go now to the head dreams. Mm, let's look at some ha hats here. What do we see here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we, we're not going to look at none of these. But uh, that's an ugly hat. I totally don't like this, this uh, Orioles logo. I think it's retarded. It's a pink under. Clean hat, but but that that logo is just retarded. Mother's Day on field. Okay, no. Then you got the Washington. Oh, this is freaking Walgreens logo on it, man. I don't like it. Forty three ninety nine. That's not a bad price for a hat, though. So these ransom notes. Met, you know, uh, like I said, um, it starts to grow on me. Uh, I like it. You know, previously I said that I don't, but now I do. I don't have one yet. Kind of cool, cool colored side patch. Shea Stadium. And these Mets letters. It's crazy how my taste can change at times like I initially I freaking hated these ones but um, I'm about to pick some up here soon so yeah five sizes sold out five available check it out chrome dome yeah and the royal blue brims Indians this one raised copper uh, script graphite uh, dome gray or it's a black brim actually I don't see anything good about this one kind of a cool cool uh, side patch though but nah pass Detroit Tigers uh, I don't like anything about this one. This is more like a Christmas looking hat. No. Um, if it would be Christmas time, you know, then maybe somebody can pick it up other than that. That's too much. Like, it's like boom, right in your eyes, you know. I don't like it. 
and these Indians, this is cool. Like I said, this is uh, only three sizes are sold out. Uh, again, chrome dome, cool letters. I think it's cool, man. I don't know. It's just me. Tell me if you got one of these ransom note hats. Which one do you like better, the Mets or the Indians? Next one, then we got the St. Louis Cardinals. I don't like Cardinals hat in, in, in green, you know. Red would be fine, green not so much. Kind of a messy uh, side patch. Nah. Clean, but nah. Orioles. I've seen this one a million times before. I don't like this side patch. I think it's not... I don't like it. But a big raised gold script. I like the gold script and all that. Hells. But, nah. I would pass on that. Rangers. Decent. I think this is pretty cool. Black dome, graphite brim, green under. Decent side patch. Yeah, solid hat. Most of the sizes available. Yankees. Chrome and purple. Cool colorway. That's all I have to say. Clean. Uh, there could be a different side patch I would prefer over this one. New York green and uh, orange. I don't know what it reminds me. That like I can't tell you this Mets hat. It reminds me something, but I can't tell you what it is though. It's an interesting hat, but I, I, I again too much of the green. But it fucking what it reminds me. Hmm. Interesting. Can't tell you. You may hear a dog barking, you know, that's my neighbor's dog. Because in room here it's hot as fuck, man, you know, and um, I had to crack the window open. Orange and rust. Uh, Baltimore Orioles. Um, I like orange hats. So to me, this one is decent, better than that first one. Stadium, stadium patch. Um, but yeah, sorry about all the noises, you know, cars running and dogs barking. Hopefully the mic is not picking up but too much. Two sizes sold out, everything else is available. Uh, then this Houston, man. Oh, I don't like this at all. Chrome and Vegas gold. No. No, nope. Sick of Houston. Athletics. So here's another. Uh, oh, my size is only available 718. Ricky Henderson. Here is that side patch again. Like this is becoming, this is like a new hype. And as long as they stay with this colorway, like an um, A's colorway, green and yellow, I'm fine with it. But when they're going to start butchering this one, you know, and making it all different colors, you know, then, then, nah. This is good. I mean, this is a decent hat. That green, at least from here, seems like a little off. Man, you know, I don't know. Needed a shade lighter, I believe. To my eye anyway but this is I like this hat this is a good hat and so does many other people think the same way then this owes oh, this is actually sold out so none to look at this one and then uh, nationals again this kind of colorway we've seen a million times there's nothing special about it I like this side patch though this is cool and um, 
man, that dog's barking. And then, uh, yeah, this uh, silver script, you know, raised. Let me, let me freaking close that, that window because I can't stand the noise. So, there we go again. That's, that's much better. Uh, I just, I just don't know how, how much you could hear the noise coming in from outside. So yeah, so that was Had Dreams. I mean, let's move on to the next one. And Prosiety, Prosiety also came out with the ransom note, couple hats, and uh, let's start from the bottom and going up. I don't know when this actually got released. It looks like it was dropped recently. This is a great Houston Astros hat. I like their team colors. Orange and black, H is a star, everything is available except size 8. Uh, so, cool. You know, this, I can, I can buy this one. There's nothing crazy about this hat. Simple, gray, gray under. I think this is solid. Solid Houston Astros. If you want, if you're new to to game, you know, and you want some solid, not crazy looking Astros hat, this is the hat to get. Next one is Dodger Ransom Note. Uh, six, seven, eight sold out. Everything else is available. Cool hat, but I, I somehow I feel like this blue is not a Dodger blue. That this is a shade lighter. That's just the way I, the way I see it. But yeah, I like I like this freaking little letters, man. You know they look cool. Yeah, it's a it's a good hat. Good hat. Uh, Bakersfield Blaze. That must be a minor leaguer. So no, I don't I don't I don't like this one. No. Nah. Everything is available except six and seven eight. Then we got like what do you guys think? Uh Las Vegas Raiders, Raider Nation, old English. What do you think about the script? First of all, I wouldn't buy it because it's that gray dome. Uh, like I said, very few hats I have in gray. This wouldn't be one of them. I don't know. I don't think I like this script up here. I don't know. Tell me if you think otherwise. Then we got... Capital City Bombers. It's kind of a it's kind of a cool hat. I think he got the black camo brim. Seems that way. The material almost looks like a black denim. But I, I doubt it. Again, is this Black crown, black camo visor, yep. A cap's made in. Fuck who knows where. Looks like Bangladesh to me. Mm, not really, no. Then this is even uglier. No, actually, you know what? This is somewhat better than that Raiders. Old English arch. I think I like this one. This looks cleaner. I like how that orange stands out. Yeah, decent hat. 
like the simple side patch. Tell me what you think. Yeah, I think this is good. Uh, six, seven, eight, seven and three quarters sold out. Everything else is available. Yeah, I, I dig it. I uh, this is cool hat. That's next one. Houston Texans. No, this this they got a little crazy with this one. They put the black and red paisley under, you know. Uh nah. This one I don't dig it that much. I like in general I like red hats, but this one I don't know. Nah, not for me. Everything is sold out except seven and seven one eighths and a quarter and five eighths actually as well. Those are available. Everything else is bye bye. Eh, it's it's all right. It is all right. Then you got the angels, the red angels. Decent, but I've seen better uh, ransom note hats than this is. I think these two silver ones kind of throw me off. Not a big fan of this particular side patch. Yeah, it is what it is. And then the very last one is something again. It feels like seeing it a million times. Space, a Space 11s, Los Angeles Dodgers Space 11s. I don't know what the fuck that means. That uh, blue under, uh, yeah, it's just a Dodgers hat. I don't know. There are better ones out there. Let's put it that way. Okay, that was Prosciutto, and let's move on to something what caught my eye, and we are too late to the game. And they released, they have actually been releasing these other sport, like not so often used uh sport logo hats and this is actually most likely to com commemorate you know the opening of the new WNBA season uh, i've never seen these before you know and majority of them are sold out and so only couple couple team hats are left so check out the Leeds hd pay attention you know they're kind of good about releasing hats you know when something happens like the season starts or whatnot look at this i i mean i totally understand why this got sold out you know this is a freaking awesome hat look at that how do i fucking how do i make it smaller okay uh absolutely wonderful hat but it's sold out then they had this here uh, seattle storm that's another beauty sold out Uh, then this one is sold out. Let's look what's available. So this Indiana Fever. Uh, this is where that Caitlin, what's the fuck her name? You know, and March Madness. Oh man, I, I see. I don't follow the basketball too much, you know. But there was this uh, a chick, you know. She she gained a huge popularity, you know, and she it's her first season in WNBA so she plays for this team and uh, so yeah look what's available here only five eighths and eight and a quarter so this hat is still somewhat available so maybe it's a good time to pick up this one if you're that size
what was that chick's name? I think her name is Caitlin, I believe. Minnesota Lynx. Another beautiful hat. Cool, cool side patch. Seven and a quarter, three eighths, five eighths available. I think this is awesome. It looks like a flat embroidery though. But I dig it. So yeah, many of us have slept on this one. Then you've got this uh, Washington Mystiques. Quarter, three eighths, half size, five eighths and eight. Available Washington Mystiques. That's another great hat. So yeah, make sure you browse through the Leeds HD stock every week, you know, for their uh, releases. Because they do have some freaking heat once in a while. Uh, Phoenix Mercury. Oh, my size available. Purple. It's a cool shit for a collector, you know, to have these in your collection. Especially if you have the whole freaking set, you know. That's even better. And, uh, yeah, Houston Comets sold out. This Sparks, this is LA Sparks. I believe they have been the champs. There was that tall chick played for them, forgot her name. So WNBA Champs 2001, 2 and 16. Side patch. But this is sold out. And so then they have like the upcoming drops. Let's see what's dropping next. Uh, nah, they really don't. It looks like a Corduroy's gonna come out, but, but yeah. Anyways, that was lids. Next one on, and we are in Canada now again. Uh, this is still up in Canada, so they released these four. Recently, these four hats. Arizona Quick Strike 3747, you know, that's a fucking steal for a hat. 718 quarter and a half size available. That, that has like a. This is like a freaking. Uh, like a snake skin. You know, almost it looks like. The outline is raised. Decent hat. Ooh. Then they got this kind of a wild looking Toronto Blue Jays, Billboard Jays. Wow, this is, this takes up the whole front panel, you know. Now, absolutely crazy looking hat. Size seven and eight only available everything else is sold out kind of a cool side patch toronto 91 all-star game side patch man my hat this sydney uh, swan's hat i haven't curved it yet you know it's a little little freaking snug i just threw it on because i'm wearing the sydney swan's jersey and this shit's giving me a headache. That's a little too tight for me. Then you got the yellow crown banana jays. I like, usually I like yellow heads, but not this one. This is Mm -mm. Not a fan of this one. 
All sizes available except size 8. And then you got Shohei Otani script, size 7 and 8 available. Clean. This is a clean, clean hat. I can't remember what the fuck this would spell out. It's either Shohei Otani or uh, Los Angeles. Let's find out what the hell it is. Let's see. Dodgers. That's what it spells out. This one says Dodger. So, uh, Otani's uh, number. Side patch. Very cool colorway. Love it. Good hat. Yeah, I like that. Like, this is very super clean. No wonder why. Pretty much everything is sold out. Great job, Shaheen. This is this is awesome. So yeah, that was still. And then we're here. We haven't been to this store for a while. This is out in Chicago, Clark Street Sports. And uh, when I was browsing through before the show, what to show you guys and what not, and I have, I believe I have finally found a hat with this freaking front logo I totally don't like and hate. This one looks awesome though, you know. Too bad my size is sold out or I would have bought this one. Uh, black and orange, man, the colors just play together perfectly. Uh, I think this is awesome, awesome freaking hat. Nice side patch. Too bad I missed out. My size is gone. Uh, so is three quarter and seven eighths and eight and seven. Uh, there are more than just much. So let's see what's available. Seven and a quarter, three eighths, half and five eighths. Everything else is gone. But I think this hat is absolute fucking awesome hat. This is the one a freaking time, you know, where I can say that this logo works. You know, it, it, it really, it really pops, you know, it, it really freaking looks good, you know, super good. Absolutely love it, but it's, it's gone, man, you know. Damn it. Then you got this other cubby. Uh, I like this front logo. I don't like this gray dome. Then you got this big ass C on a red. This side patch is freaking, let's look at it. World Series 1908, so can't blame uh, because the side patch was created back in 1908, you know. Uh, it's a little weird. Big raised front C on a red hat. I don't know why the fuck they had a gray button on it or blue button on it. That kind of looks retarded. There's a little of that blue around here as well, but I don't like that. And then you have the same hat just in blue. This one has like a red button. Nah. Then you got this, this hat is like, I mean, how many times people can release it? Uh, sick and tired of it, but it's a solid hat, you know. Mexico World Baseball Classic. I guess since Chicago is a sanctionary city, you know, no wonder why they freaking pump out these, these hats, you know, for that market. If you know what I mean. So then the last one is a kind of a color flip, I would say. This is all available. This is not bad. I believe this has an orange under. Yep, that rusty. 
under, made in Bangladesh. Um, I like that black dome way better, you know, but this is not bad either. This is all available 50 bucks. I just wish, I just wish this would have been available because I would have bought it. This is fucking awesome. Huh, darn it. So guys, if you are one of these sizes, don't sleep on this one. This is the best. The best of this freaking pregnant bear or whatever bear it is. This is a cool ass hat. So that was Clark Street Sports. And now look at these fucking, this hat. This is my fitteds, man. The only hat I'm going to show you. It's almost sold out. Somehow my size is available and seven and a quarter. What do you guys think about this absolute fucking stupid shit, man? These fucking anal, anus, anus beads, man, on here, you know? It really looks like that, you know? Like, why in the fuck would you put this kind of shit on it, you know? Like, they lost your fucking mind. And there are a lot of people who have lost their minds, you know, buying this shit. Will anybody fucking actually wear this shit and go out in the city or somewhere? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Maybe if you're a pervert, you know, like, and you get in some sexual encounters, man, and then you, you you push this shit up somebody's ass, and you know, or your ass, or whatever it is, and then you start fucking, you know, messing with it. God, this is fucking ugly and stupid, man, you know. This is, this is my weeper of the year. There is another one what they created was just like a fucking propeller sticking up here, you know, and like it's fucking turning, you know. I mean, I understand that the guy is like fucking sort of genius, you know, by creating these hats. But sometimes he just takes it to another level, like another level of fucking stupidity, man. And that anal bead shit, man, you know, it really is a uh, next level stupid, man. You know, in my opinion, again, you know, I'm not saying... Uh, that all of it is like that, but this is absolutely fucking dumb. Let's just see. New releases. Their website is kind of fucked up too. I'm not gonna go in any of these ones. There are some. They're definitely in their style. You know, they they showcase them all and uh, with the curved brims. You know and my thing is like when you advertise it like that and then the person who gets into a, a hat collecting you know he's expecting what he's seeing here you know and he buys it and then it comes with a flat brim and and person could be upset about it you know so you guys need to know the new people need to know that all of these hats are gonna come with a straight brim but you can curve them every single one you can curve them they're gonna look like this but this is kind of weird. Weird looking good, so to speak. Nuggets. It's, it's a weird good, you know. What can I say? Weird looking good. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it, but... It's called Elite Series, man. Uh, I do not like uh, I do not like these freaking camos or whatever You know that's too much for me. I think Topper Store USA released something like that using these type of camos That's a cool fucking 49er clean as fuck Let's just we're we're done here, but let's just do Topper Store USA, let's see. Let's see what they got here, you know. Uh, Seattle Mariners, Ken Griffey Jr. What's left? My size is left and 738. I know people were talking that this was something special, you know, to me. It's a blue hat with the green under, you know, nothing special to me. 
in my opinion, for people who like it, that is great. It's just not for me. I've seen better hats. Then they released this Gwinnett Striper. 3 eighths, 3 quarters, 7 eighths, and 8 available on a green uh, crown. Not for me. Nah. What else? Tampa Bay Yankees. Everything is available. Vegas Gold. Not a bad hat, but. I got this guy, just uh, saying, I got this one, there's only seven and a half left, man, I'm obsessed with this Aliens freaking logo, front logo, I'm trying to get every single one I see it from them, from toppers, I was lucky enough to land this one in my size, so if you're a half size, don't sleep on it, go get it, because this is going to be gone soon. Then you got this clean Chicago Cubbies, size 7 gone. Everything else is available. But yeah, then we got that. These were pre-orders, you know. These are some freaking leftovers. Look at that Chihuahuas, 778. Yeah, and let's not just go too deep in here, but... Uh, Come to the website, check him out, see whatever else is left over. Maybe it's your size, go and grab it, you know. Uh, their hat's actually selling out fast. Here is my favorite, favorite series of uh, uh, leftovers from uh, their NFL draft pack earlier this year. These, are, these were pre-orders, you know, and this is what's left over. I got them all. They're absolutely amazing hats. But yeah, guys. I was thinking about this Colorado Rapids, but then I backed out of it. If this would go on sale, if I could pick it up for 25 bucks, I would get it. But other than that, no. That's a soccer team here, local Major League Soccer. But yeah, that is all for today. This is gnarly looking fucker, man. You know, this freaks me out. These damn baby cakes. He looks evil, man. You know, look at him. Like cringed, cringed all like, wah. Ugh. Gives me the goosebumps. People sleeping on this leftover. Man, this, I'm telling you guys, this is a fucking awesome hat. Maybe people just backing up because, uh, because it's a yellow crown. I don't know. You're missing out. And then, but yeah, this one. This one too. This uh, Grand Rapid Griffins. Size 7 available. Cool hat. Okie dokie, my friends. This was kind of like a fast, fast uh, show going through all these hats, you know. But you got a good understanding what's available, what's not. And, uh, yeah, we're ending it here. So, my friends, if you're still here, if you like today's video, don't forget to slap the like button on it, you know, uh, subscribe to our channel, share the video so more people can find us, our channel, you know, that will help out. And uh, yeah, till Wednesday, you know, there's going to be a five minutes of fame video. Hope you will like that one. Yeah, uh, just remember, um, pretty much every Wednesday, there's a five minutes of, fi of fame video. Now, for whatever reason, I understand it's a midweeks video. I get less views on those videos than, than the Monday leftovers uh, or especially Saturday shows. So, yeah, guys, Wednesdays, man, watch the show. All righty, take care, my friends. 
This was Lost Latvian with the Monday Leftovers with the Lost Latvian Show 23. I'm wishing you a great week ahead of you, good health, and I see you all very soon. Lost Latvian out. Cheers. <laughs>